Brian Ewell, the Master Superintendent of Uplands Golf Club. Today we're going to continue on talking about aeration and today's practice we're going to be working on fairway aeration. As you can see in the background we have our vertidrain aerator on our fairways as well as we've got small greens aerators aerating around the sprinkler heads. As we talked about in my last vlog as far as improving firmness one of the practices that we are changing is using the vertidrain on fairways for the very first time at Uplands Golf Club. The vertidrain is a large tine that goes into the ground and it fractures and kicks versus a traditional aeration tine which is an awful lot smaller. We're also using hollow core tines around the sprinkler heads to remove cores and putting sand around the sprinkler heads. In the video I'll explain on the challenges that we face with turf around sprinkler heads and why those areas are a little bit softer and some of the practices that we're doing this year for the very first time to improve firmness. And if you follow me here, you'll be able to see the depth of a vertigrain time as it goes into the ground. And rather having a traditional time that's three inches deep going into the fairway, we now have the vertigrain time this flag shows you that the tine is actually going in almost eight inches into the ground. So stay tuned as we follow the rest of the video and get some knowledge on what we're doing to improve the playing conditions at Uplands Golf Club. Happy golfing, everyone. Deep tine aeration is a slow process. It takes approximately three hours per fairway, and the hole spacings are two inches by four inches. Deep tine aerators not only penetrate 8 inches to 10 inches into the ground, but they pry into the soil creating a fracture-like mechanism that improves air and water movement into the soil. One of the challenges of this type of aeration is knowing where the rocks are, or you end up having tines that look like this. While deep tine aeration is going on the fairways, we're also using our traditional fairway aerator for aerating our roughs and our green surrounds. This will stop water from running off the rough onto the fairways and keep it into the rough areas. One of the new processes we're performing this year is aerating around our sprinkler heads. As the video shows, we have a sprinkler head up in operation and the short range nozzle can be plugged or as the sprinkler head pops up, water slowly comes out and deposits large amounts of water around the sprinkler head. Over time, this can cause a buildup of organic matter called thatch, which creates soft conditions. Also, we can have different soil types that can cause challenges for water as well. So what we've done this year is we've started to aerate around the sprinkler heads. Where our normal larger aerators can't get close to the sprinkler heads, we're using our greens aerators to punch a lot of holes in a close location. This will improve air and water movement around the sprinkler head as well as removing the organic buildup that we see. Crew will remove the equivalent of five dump truck loads of cores, which will be composted later. This will be followed up with top dressing around each sprinkler head that will be later matted in to fill up the holes. While this process is going on, we will also run a large fairway top dresser on the fairways, and we will lay out approximately eight dump truck loads of sand which will help improve the firmness and improve air and water movement into the soil. Once the sand is laid down and has a chance to dry, the last step of the process is to use a fairway drag mat and drag the sand in two different directions in order to fill up the aeration holes with sand. We use a wash sand that will help drainage. It will take approximately five days to complete all of our fairways and the final product will have all the holes filled up with sand which will improve the firmness and in time improve the firmness around the sprinkler heads as well. 